Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we have we have for you the book from uh, AK Interactive and Abtalion, uh, Abtalion, Ab Abtalion. I looked up the pronunciation. Yes, yes, I did. You 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 can you you know when I start saying words quasi close to it in German that, that I must have actually looked up the pronunciation. Anyways, so uh, Abtalion, uh, obviously uh, battalion in World War II or department detachment or whatever in German, so 502, which is the unit number, obviously. Um, this was a brand that kind of was around uh, for a while uh, years ago and is kind of making a return uh, via AK Interactive. Uh, this book is called Mastering Oils and uh, Oil Painting Techniques on AFVs by Joaquin Garcia Gasquez, uh, which uh, I believe the other book we just did was uh, by him as well. So he is a busy author. All right, so this is a very uh, kind of high quality printed book. It's got like a fold out cover here um, and uh, soft cover, but um, you know, very well done. And even the back is actually fold out or an additional layer, I guess. Uh, nice little background page here with some weird kind of texturing on it. And 128 pages in total. Um, the index uh, in very cool black and white here. Uh, the uh, quickly going through the oils and the modeler introduction oil paints material and preparation I'm just going through the main headers here uh, application and modeling alteration and uh, enrichment of the base color step-by-step -step painting GMC airfield fuel truck step-by-step -step painting a Stug 3 Ost G943 KV1 winter camouflage Panzer Jaeger Jagdtiger uh, SDKFC 186 Fru production and a final gallery. Um, so just kind of reading through some of this stuff so I get it all down. This is published in 2017. Um, oils and the Modeler. So you can see print-wise and graphic design-wise, this book is amazing looking. <laughs> uh, so, you know, somebody spent some time on doing the layout for this. Uh, you know, expect basically to find uh, great photos. Uh, the text here with my glasses on is fairly easy to read, but yeah, if, uh, if you have any issues with white on black text, probably, uh, well, some here's some black on white text. Um, so yeah, there's some differences here in terms of uh, just the way kind of we normally expect to see books, but it's still, you know, I, I can read it. It's not, you know, I'm 52, so if anybody's out there is worried and they're older, uh, it, is, it is fairly uh, readable, especially under the right light. I'm getting a lot of glare off my window, which you might have been seeing, yeah, right there. So you can see, obviously, without the glare, yeah, a lot easier to read. Maybe I should get a little vertical uh, kind of thing so I, I can actually you know, get rid of that glare. Maybe would that be good? Yeah, probably. But I uh, can't do it right now. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it for the next video, I swear. Uh, people have been complaining in some of my videos about lighting and stuff, and it's like, yeah, I know, I just, I don't have any professional LED lights I can, like, you know, do, do a, like, a dimming effect and so forth. I did buy one at one point that had a dimmer, and I, I tried to use it, but it just was, uh, I don't know, it was one of those things where it just, it's Sometimes they're too much, too much bother, too much bother, and not enough positive outcome. All right, back to back to the book. All right, the uh, so we've got different uh, graphics in here, like the talking about um, different color complementary colors, of uh, primary colors, and so forth. Um, so, which is very you know good thing to talk about when you're dealing with oil paints, because obviously a lot of those are blended, and so forth. Uh, well, all paints can be blended, but oil paints, but uh, in, in particular. Um, this is an oil paint section and talking about basic palette. Um, then they're talking about preparation storage thinners, brushes. Brushes, obviously, a very big thing. Uh, the uses of oils in models. Uh, let me just read this uh, opening so you can kind of get a, just a sample for the text. It can be stated with confidence that almost all of the finishing effects that are applied after the airbrush base color coat can be accomplished using oils. Degradation and deterioration of paint, stains by a crew, accumulations of dust and dirt, or dirt and dust, actually, it said, <laughs> dirt, grease stains, um, grease stains, oil, oxidation, etc., etc. Practically everything can be done with oils. For ease of explanation and understanding, and to help develop the different possibilities, they will be grouped techniques. Um, there will be group techniques that they think they meant to put uh, into two main operations. The first being alterations and enrichment of the base color, and the second one being addition of the addition of aging effects. So you know, 
good text grammar layout. I mean, obviously a few little glitches. These are modelers, not professional journalists. So I, I expect every once in a while, especially with the, the differences in uh, translation and so forth, uh, that the, some of those little little small um, grammar issues are going to come up. But I think they more than make up for it with just their photos, layout, uh, the, way they're, the way they're doing this stuff. Uh, certainly, I think the younger modelers, especially, I think this is why we get so many of these books, especially coming out of the EU, uh, that are just so well designed and laid out because uh, that, you know, younger people, definitely this appeals to them. It appeals to me too because I'm a graphic designer. So, but, you know, the average modeler um, probably especially older modelers. I'm saying average, not everybody, but do, you know they don't care about all this fluffy layout stuff. But clearly the people who do care about it um, probably uh, base more over there than, than, than say over here. So uh, yeah, they go through different phases here of like, you know, just talking about the, the basic uh, decals or stencils here on the model and then putting in um, actually some, some kind of oil uh, pinpointy over, uh, over effect and then blending that in so you get this final uh, area which kind of is amazing when you think about like all that on there and then kind of blended and you don't even get um, you know you don't get the uh, the effect you would think that looking at this picture you'd think wow that's gonna really make that look all like multicolored and so forth but then the final effect you get is much more washed out uh, which is yeah, quite impressive actually um, so, uh, yeah, they go through different effects like this desert sand and uh, winter white camouflage. So just going to flip through the rest. You can, you know, you've got kind of a, a feel for the, the beginning part of it. You can definitely see it just keeps going on and on with all sorts of oily, oily goodness. Uh, different tracks, uh, track really heavy weathering on tracks and so forth. And, uh, and the layout, the layout beauty continues until the end. And we get, I think, a final gallery in here at the back. So with lots of great great models in that. So definitely uh, take a look for this. Uh, it's uh, been out for a little while, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. If uh, your local hobby store doesn't carry these, you're probably going to find it through Amazon or online publisher, as well as the AK uh, Interactive website, I believe, carries all these items, uh, I want to say. They have their own website, too, um, which is uh, Abtilion, Ab 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 oh, I can't do it, <laughs> abtilion502.com. So look for it there as well as they have a Facebook and a YouTube website of their own. Of course, I think that YouTube site is probably our A case. But anyways, thanks to them for sending us this uh, preview copy. And please leave comments, suggestions, questions below in the comments areas. Give us a thumbs up or a like if you're on YouTube or on our website. And we will see you next time on Turning the Page.